For our class today, I would like to explain about balanced three-phase system for delta-delta connection. In this example, I will explain about what is balanced three-phase for delta-delta connection and examples with the related formula. So, balanced three-phase delta-delta connection is a system with one in which both the balance source and balance loads are delta data connection. Remember you have source, line and load. So you have three line connected to the delta to delta load. So this is example for the circuit, delta data connection look like. As usual, you have line over here, IA, IB, and IC. And this one is for capital A, B, and C. You have loop. You can have loop here, and here, and here as well. So in this example, so this is the delta delta connection circuit. So this is related formula for delta data connection in balanced three phase system. So you have phase voltage and current, line voltage and current. So in this case for the voltage, voltage for the line voltage is the same with the voltage for the phase voltage. So the formula is, is the same, but they are different for the current, current phase and line current. Let's take a look for example. It says that a balanced delta connected load having an impedance of 20 minus J15 ohm is connected to a delta connection. Positive sequence generator having VAB equals to 330 at the angle of 0 degree boot. Calculate the phase current of the load and the line current. So you know that this one is the phase current, I phase, and this one is I line. Okay, so in this case, how many impedance that you have? You only have one impedance. You can have three impedance, remember that. But in this case, in this example, you only have one impedance at loop. So Z, Y, or you can use this formula, this symbol, it's the same. Is equal to 20 minus J15. So you can use rectangular to polar conversion using my previous video. Convert them by using your calculator. You get 25 at the angle of negative 36.87 ohm. Okay, in order to calculate the current, you will need to calculate the voltage first. For the voltage in this case, voltage for the line and load is the same. So, I, A, B here, do we need to calculate this one first? Is equals to V, A, B over Z impedance total. V, A, B in this case is 330 degree at the angle of 0 degree. 330 at the angle of 0 degree, sorry, over impedance total 25 at the angle of negative 36.87. So you divide them, 330 divided by 25, you got 13.2, 0 minus minus 36, you got positive 36.87. So this one is for IB, IAB, sorry, 
IBC is equals to IAB at the angle of negative 120 degrees C against this value because this one is in the positive sequence. Remember that. Equals to IAB, so you use this formula back, 13.2 at the angle of 36.87 times negative 120 degrees C. So from here, you got 13.2 at the angle of negative 83.13 so it's from here okay ICA is equals to IAB at the angle of positive 120 degree C so you can use this formula back 13.2 at the angle of 36.87 times 120 degree C so you got 120 plus 36.87, you got 156.87. So, with the same magnitude. So, that's all for the phase current. For our delta load, the line current always lag. And the corresponding phase current by 30 degree and has a magnitude set three times that of the phase current. Hence, the line's current are, you can use this formula, IA is equal to IAB times set 3 at the angle of negative 30 degree. So, IAB is here. So, bring here 13.2 at the angle of 36.87 times set 3 times negative 30 degrees. Okay. So, when you do your calculation, 13.2 times set 3. So, you get this one, 22.86, 36.87, minus 30. So, you got 6.87 over here. IB is equal to IA at the angle of negative 120 degrees C. So, you can take from here, bring it here, 22.86. Six at the angle of 6.87 times negative 120 degrees C. So, you got negative 113.13. That's all for IB. Remember, three phase have IA, IB and IC. IC is equals to IA at the angle of plus 120 degrees C. You can use back IA. IA is 22.86 at the angle of negative, sorry, at the angle of 6.87 times 120 degrees C. So, you got 22, same magnitude. 120 plus 6.87 is 126.87. Okay, that's all example for delta to delta connection in balanced three-phase system. Thank you.